Jacqueline is only 25 years, a mother of eight and already expecting her ninth born. With eight births in her count, Afa expected all to be well with her ninth birth. Expecting to give birth immediately, she arrives at the nearest health facility. <laughs> This time, the story was different. Her uterus had ruptured. This is a mother. She's from Kondo. 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 Yes. Kondo. Okay. Kondo. Mm. The other village. Yeah? Mm. Then she she has just been brought today. They are telling us she has been bleeding in the village for like two days. <coughs> but they couldn't come. The husband is a drunk. We have just gone home. That he's claiming to go and get some means of transporting this lady because we have referred him. At this point, the husband has run away, and with no money, no referral system at the health facility, Alpha Jacqueline was to be left at God's mercy. Eh? Jacqueline. And Afa was referred, but unfortunately, the baby was dead. So she was uh, referred to us. She came in when she had her uterus had ruptured. And the uterus ruptured means it bursts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the baby gets out. Plus uh, the fluid, whichever fluid is around the baby also gets out. And of course after the bursting, there is obvious bleeding all over the whole place. From those blood vessels which supply the uterus. So. One of the problems they present with is severe anemia, bleeding before delivery, mm. and those are very dangerous signs, actually. So we immediately, what they did, they took her to the theatre, uh, we took her to the theatre, we opened her up, and they found that the uterus had just open, the baby was just lying there in the stomach, they removed the baby, Center. Then uh, actually we also removed the uterus because it was beyond repair now. Okay. Then we tried to repair and close off the bleeding points uh, to make sure that she is not bleeding anymore. Then we let her transfer her to the road. The nature of the roads and the distance to the Faro Hospital as well as Afa's reporting late to the health center did not favor her condition. Alpha died two days later. This condition could be happening even now, but thanks to UNHCO and partners implementing the maternal health project under Voices for Health Rights, encouraging women to demand for health services and also educating them about their health responsibilities. Uganda National Health Consumers Organization is a non-governmental civil society organization. It is also the secretariat for the Voices for Health Rights Coalition. The, what we know as MHP is the Maternal Health Project that is funded by the Swedish government through SIDA and it is implemented by eight members of the Voices for Health Rights Coalition. This is a coalition that is made up of health rights organizations that work to influence policy and practice to conform to the rights-based approach. So we do advocacy at national level in bringing together parliament and government and other civil society players to engage and begin to look at how we can embrace the right to health so that policies reflect 
the rights of patients, that they are inbuilt mechanisms for patients and communities to engage with government and be able to know their rights and demand and cause change that reflects, that responds to their needs and aspirations. In Mwende district, one of the eight implementing districts, the maternal health project has already taken shape. Through community dialogues, men can now express their fears as to why their involvement has been low. As the men expresses themselves, their women counterpart are giving their side, but this time separated. Then the men and women converge to come to an agreement. Dialogues at community level and with the support from the implementing partners has changed the men's attitude towards maternal health and supporting their pregnant wives to health centers. You know, most of our men think that the issues concerning with the reproductive health are for women. So they don't come in to support their women. So we, 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 we started that, uh, that, uh, that system of men creating a groups uh, to help their fellow men by building alliances, by giving them information, by showing them the importance of supporting their fellow men in maternal, uh, maternal health issues. And the first and the pioneer group uh, was formed in Chiganda Hills sub-district. And that is located in Karonga. These people have done quite a lot. They have done a very big work in sensitizing, in creating awareness, in uh, actually approaching their fellow men to see that actually they, they, they come on board to support their fellow women, to involve, to, 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 to participate, and to be involved in maternal issues. And the other groups have, uh, have, have emulated this example, and we have a quite a number of groups in the, in the whole district. We have one in Kassam, Kassambia, we have one here in the town council, we have another one in Kassanda, another one has been formed in Kukuya. But the pioneer group is, and actually we refer many of our people to Chiganda to see the example. And actually we have received many visitors from outside, from, from the ministry, to see what this group actually is doing. Through regular sensitization messages, radio talk shows and drama, such male groups as the Men Action Group were formed. The Male Action Group is a model of its own and the men in Mubende are proud as it helps them save and prepare for the time of delivery. has a name of uh, improving maternal child health by involving men in mobilizing, sensitizing, and giving information to the community so that men are also involved in taking up the duties of having their, their wives and children get the services in the right time and to know what they are supposed to do regarding their responsibilities in the family. The advocacy on male involvement presents enormous benefits towards maternal health since the men play a pivotal role in decision making. <laughs> This man and his wife can attest to this. Thanks to the maternal health project being implemented by Mental Health Uganda, the Action Group for Health, Human Rights and HIV AIDS, AGA, and the Epilepsy Support Association Uganda, ESAO, into Bull Health Center 3 in Soroti District. So, Bull, 
narai abere masakia irwa nango ne ejoko no iyo osobu idumye chiuri angina arede kase silim iyo ari kon koko to mare kase ne do ekore do una dex dex se pore do no toma e do oyanga bera dex one of the biggest challenges of maternal health in Uganda was mothers having to report late to health facilities and the dependence of expectant mothers on traditional birth attendants. The implementation of the maternal health project by UNHCO and Theta in Hoima district recognized this as voices for health rights got underway. We have noted an increased number of mothers who are coming to continental and also have had a number of increased numbers of mothers who are delivering nursing facilities. For example, if you look at the district figure, it stands at around 36%. But when you go into those facilities, which are within the UNICEF project, we are, I think we are coming up to around between 45 and 50%, which is a very big achievement. And because, you know, people are now sensitized, because there are people, let me call them community volunteers, who are able to mobilize communities and to, to, to tell them about the importance of delivering facilities the importance of doing antenato, the importance of organization. So many mothers have come up. This village health team found a better way of passing on the message. The drama team in Kamoya sub county emphasizes the dangers of not reporting to health facilities but instead visiting traditional bath attendants. <laughs> With consistent awareness, the couple agree to visit the health center and the lessons are learned. Nyo nyo gero kenda kucheweza awakazi vine enda haigwa kenda kuzari haigwa. Ntukora drama. Drama ya John Toreke Mzano, Havachara, Barebele Mzano, Chaba Yamba, Fujirangu, Omwe, Babi Mbazara, Ranko Mbiyaro. Mbazara, Sabo Mbiyaro, Omwe, Havachara, Baguayonu, Bazara. Kwa nkaku Barebele Mzano, Bayega, Bamanya, Kukuchebe Lezomu Iruwaro, Nukuzara Lomu Iruwaro. As Moses Chirigwajo, the program officer for maternal health at UNHCO, the Voices for Health Rights Secretariat, explains, through higher level advocacy, the maternal health issues were integrated in the routine outreaches. Under utilization, access and utilization, we do this through integrated service outreaches. We are calling them integrated because previously it was an outreach of only immunization of the under five. But uh, with our intervention, we've encouraged, we've reactivated the integration of services whereby four or five activities will be done within one outreach. And that one, we focus on antenatal care, that mothers that, who cannot move longer distances to the facilities can be captured from there. They examine them from the outreaches. They also do testing for HIV from there. They do counseling, they do health education, they do family planning services, they do immunization. So it's a, it's a, a big continent that helps mothers to achieve at their own residences. Pregnant mothers are tested for progress of their pregnancies, HIV serial status, and also briefed on the danger signs of pregnancy and how to prevent them. Malaria infections, being one of the danger signs that can put a pregnant mother in danger, is given emphasis here. <laughs> No, 
Ate tuzwe mikusaa kurugamu Eki okubanza Ende kusowa kurugamu Eki akaviri Nozaro mwana nunda afuira Havo msuija wakubota otaganzike Beze na nukujanja Eki akasatu Omsuija wakukwato inendo msaa Kukusaa kurugamu Wena no yengirano kuka kienja Havo msuijo Eki akanda yo wenka Ukaza wa inendo kusaa kumabuja Kuna na wawo Havo msuijo Ato msuijo wakukusaa kukwena rakuta Nikumbula hati kwa hati kwa hati Halibu kwenindo msuijo wa kukusaa kwenindo Nikubiyama hati ya kakimba kenu Nikuwelina tugeenda gatu kebeze enda Aremba ziva kwela yu kumurira yu hairuwa Nungi na hanu ngeenda kumurira yu hairuwa Na yu tangi wa msuijo mbaka zivela Eta ugundi ya ugundi wa mkogu ngemu kusaa kwenindo muno Nimusahe kisate kwa kwa zile Yotoro ina njao wa kwe mwe mwe za alia Mwe kisaa ya mwe ta izi na we msuijo tegukora Nekintu wakindo inegena muiruwaro mahakiri mirundi yeku Eno Uli mirundi kwa kagireo msao na kukevera Na kuereza vijuma na umira na usopara kuzaro mwana wako Kwa zile halimu umezi kurungi With services being brought closer to the community Through outreaches Mothers have managed to attend antenatal care in big numbers This has steadily increased over time during the implementation of the maternal health project. We've been partially doing the outreaches, the integrated outreach, where we would move out in the outreach. We give health education on infant feeding. We give um, health talk on family planning, um, HIV, AIDS, Counseling and testing. The outreach we have been performing, we have been able to get a number, an increase in the numbers of people who come for antenatal care right here. The numbers of mothers who come in maternity during time for deliveries, the numbers have increased. This has also been a result of the advocacy to turn traditional birth attendants into members of the village health teams a model that has worked successfully in a number of districts where Voices for Health Rights is operational. Nalongo Msazi is a traditional birth attendant turned VHT member and she does not regret. Nagu yingide munti ya ni ya noze. Yesi mu yange wajifunye uti. Ananga na jifunye. Raba ngami enti. Uli mwesi gwa. Hero jwa kusoboro kola chino chetu genda ko. Hero budi nanga matye. Sawa bili. Njagaro vengo kumuse inalutu. Hira nafayo nyo. Nengende inalutu. Na ye tatoru na kuru wasoka. Sanyu miruwa. Sinza kuri imba. Aa. Wanga nadaba anga. Baga ndo kunzi joru goye mvulago ngate Memba denzali saba ande tire ngoye Mani mirebi nyobu haba ande tire vijanjalo Na vayo nga haa Na vi wandika na yemo motwete vya kora 